Hey Pisces, how y'all doing? What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Divine and Gifted. I am Shay. What's happening? So, this is going to be your mid monthly for September, okay? You guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Guess what? Mercury Retro Gary Reading has reached a thousand views. Oh my god. I'm flabbergasted. So if you guys haven't checked out that Mercury Retrograde Read It, go ahead, check it out because I was dropping gems, period, as always. So let's pray again. Pisces, welcome, welcome, welcome. This will be for some moon rising. Spirit, what messages do you have for our Pisces for the month of September, rest of the month, okay? Working in our highest good for their highest favor. Give us the message with anything to hear, what I need to hear, how I need to hear it, all that. Okay protect our energy our aura our space and our physical as we enter into the sacred divine space ashe ashe okay so now with that being said let's go so find your center this is a spirit message we're going to start out with a spirit message spirit wants you to take some time to breathe find your center some of you guys um may be feeling a little ungrounded or let's say easily frustrated or um super tired um also needing to increase your water intake is something that i just got especially with this breathe all this boo around but deep breaths when you feel stressed overwhelmed having anxiety deep slow breaths i am calm i am safe i am secure i am free I am love, I am happiness, I am at peace, okay? I am calm, I am safe, I am secure, I am love, I am at peace. I said something. It'd be a channel message, okay? Run it back. Thank you. But do all that. I am calm, I'm safe, I'm secure, I am free. I am completely at peace. Um, I am love, I am completely at peace. It was one more. I can't remember but whatever it was, take the time to breathe. Do some deep, deep, deep breathing. I don't know why I shuffled those up again, but what was that? Yeah. And then this will, this, this right here, you see how all the eyes are closed? I don't know if you guys can see or you guys can really see that. But all the eyes are closed here. So find your center. It says, your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this card is ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? Okay, so when was the last time I checked in with myself? Spirit wants you to ask yourself, hey, when was the last time I checked in with myself? Some of you guys need to do an energy check-in, and that's what that breathing is. Me, personally, when I do my breathing, I do about 10 breaths. I breathe in, and I say to myself, I inhale all positive energy. My mind, my body, and my spirit is completely free and at peace. And I exhale, and I say, um, I'm releasing all negative energy from my mind, my body, and my spirit. So I inhale, uh, and I exhale that. So um, just, just, you know, some things that might help, you know, calm your energy down or get grounded. Okay, let's pull a spirit message for you guys to see what's going on in your energy. Can I get a spirit message for, for Pisces? So we have intuition. Two, uh, two other cards came out. I'm not going to take both of them, I, but they were inner child and patience. Okay, but because. Yeah, I start coming. My bad. Let me see if I could. But we have intuition. Trust your intuition and know that what seems logical may not necessarily be right. The answer to your question lies inside your heart. Endless possibilities exist for you. Stop trying to work it all out and feel your way through. We, your angels, will guide you. Trust your feelings. What feels right is right. Now, that is why Spirit is asking you to breathe, connect with your breath, and find your center. Because that is where you will find the path that leads you towards what it is that your 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 gut feelings, that intuition, the intuitive nudges, or what so have you. Also, you guys, um, the belief card under that was dream talk. And... 
spirit wants you to know that they have been communicating with you to your dreams or your dreams are going to be very 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 important and these could be regular dreams daydreams take it how it resonate but um some of you guys um maybe had done an egg cleanse or needing to do an egg cleanse or i don't know what happened with the candle um or if you need to light a candle or if you need to like do some candle work because even here the candle is here as well so I don't know what's going on with the candle or if that's how you guys communicate with your spirit team or what so have you. But spirit wants you to listen to your intuition and understand that how you think something is going to work is probably not the best way for it to work because it's more about your intuitive, how you feel intuitively. You're a very intuitive sign. So really listening in and paying attention to what you think, feel, smell, all that is going to be very, 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 very important. Okay. So, um, listening to your intuition. Also, some of you guys may need to focus on your inner child, nurture your inner child and begin to express the awesome beauty you hold within you. And then this patience card here, patience is required at this moment. You may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like, yet there are a lot going on energetically. The current situation causing concern is evolving positively. Let go and have patience. You will eventually realize that this whole event was in fact a blessing. All is perfect as it is. Trust, you are eternally loved and guided. So now, this uh, yet the current circumstance, the current the current situation causing concern is evolving positively. Whatever it is you're worried about, stressed about, thinking about, obsessing about, going through, you know, it's all working out positively. Spirit has not forgot about you. They definitely want you to know that you are not alone and that they they got you. They got you. Just just be patient with the divine because you're operating on your time and divine got their own timing. Okay. And we all don't need a lesson about divine timing. We do not need it. Spirit. Pisces don't need it. We don't want it. We don't want it for them. We don't want it for them. I don't want it for you. Okay. So let's see. So what does Pisces need to surrender to? Second half of September. Rest of September. What does Pisces need to surrender to? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces. What does Pisces need to surrender to? Surrender to spirit. Damn. Give me one more. That's good. Surrender to your soul's path is here with drama. Okay, there could be some negative energy going on around you to try to dis dismay, dis dissuade, dissuade you. I guess that's is that if that if that's a word, but it's trying to persuade you to go in a different direction, keep you stuck and stagnant, or just to cause some type of confusion, or just to get you. It's a distraction. Whatever is going on is a distraction. Whatever it could be, it could be you being overly harsh on yourself, or really thinking about past mistakes, all in your feelings, all in your head. It's a distraction. Spirit is trying to tell you to keep your eye on the prize right now. Focus your intention and 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 regain balance. Regain come come back to center. Okay, you you you're going off the wall. Spirit wants you to come back and stay focused because this surrender to drama is again a distraction. The drama is a distraction. However, it's manifesting, unfolding in your life. It's a distraction. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying center will help resolve the issue more quickly under here we have consider to complete healing understand why you're being triggered at this time is what spirit is basically saying because if you're being triggered it's no need for you to give into the energy because again it's a distraction and if you're here watching this video i'm telling you it's a distraction okay so now will be the time to surrender to complete healing to pay attention to what's triggering you why it's triggering you how it's triggering you and then try to transmute this energy of feeling lack thereof or feeling angry frustrated so on and so forth surrender to complete healing is also saying um try to go about it a different direction try to go about it a different way okay because if you give into this energy that that whatever this is because it's people pleasing i feel like it could be a situation that you could be in or you could be around someone or something like that and like they just feeding off your energy and you just trying to make everybody happy you settling whatever you're doing it's a no it's a no for me Okay, now what you need to surrender to second half of September is to spirit and your soul's path. And what spirit is basically saying is now is the time to give me all your baggage, all your drama, your worries, your dreams. I need everything. I need you to lay everything out on the table for me. And I need you to pinpoint 
where you feel like you went wrong and I'm going to show you differently. And that's what spirit is basically saying here. Surrender to your soul's path because it's like where, whatever direction you are currently headed in is trying to get you to a higher level, higher vibration, higher, higher frequency. And sometimes you may get a little doubtful. You may get a little weary. And that's why spirit is asking you to connect with your breath and then go back and find your center. Okay. It says once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work for you. And this goes back to let go. Let go and have patience. And that is what spirit, th the whole message is let go and have patience. You've already manifested. You already pushed your intention. You already set your candle. Maybe you did. Maybe you lit a candle and a candle went out or the candle turned black or something like that. I don't know. But look, something is going to take its time coming back to you. But when it takes its time, it's going to be something. It's going to be wish fulfillment here. The Son of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups with the Star, and this is the Eight of Wands right here with the Three of Pence. Yes, with the Tower, it's going to be immediate, sudden change, but it is going to come with confusion. But after you go through this period of confusion, it comes with the Sun. So I just need you again, you guys, to stay patient because even though you can't see how something is unfolding for you, it looks to me like this whatever is coming in even though it's taking a while with this knight of pentacles it's going to come in and it's going to be something so beautiful the nine of cups with the star this is wish fulfillment right here this is something that you manifested asked for this could have been something that you communicated to the divine or what so have you and it's going to come in but it's going to come in when you least expect it here with the tower and it's also going to come in with some type of major change it's also going to come in with some type of challenge it's also going to come in with you having to really completely fully let go and be uprooted from one situation and go on to the next you guys could be moving or what so have you whatever it is you guys are going through because again this is a general reading that's going to be resonating with everybody so attach it to your story however need be um but let's hop into some tarot okay let's hop into some tarot i'm doing so 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 i'm doing so 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 i'm doing so 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 Maybe that needs to be your affirmation. <laughs> I'm doing so good. So good, so good. Who are you changing for life? That's, um, I think Destiny's Child. So good. But anyway, let's see, Spirit. What is Pisces' current energy? Current energy for our Pisces for the second half of September. Rest of September, current energy, please. Pisces. Meow. Pisces. So we have the Queen of Cups. Understand the Queen of Cups is right here too. Baby girl is here. She's in the building. Queen of Cups is here. And look at her surrendering. All her doubts, her fears, her tears, everything. She's surrendering. And she's not allowing her, her emotions to consume her. But she's becoming one with her emotions. She, she's creating a space to where she can actually be vulnerable. Okay? Um, the Queen of Cups is there. You guys are in a very light energy. It's a beautiful energy to be in. But... I do see trouble, trouble energy because of the water that she's sitting in. Like you guys could be, um, I don't, I don't want to say crying over spilled milk, but you guys could be like sitting in your emotions. Like you, you could be sitting in your emotions. Like, I don't know what other way to say that, but you can be sitting in your emotions and, and really being harsh and judgmental to yourself, or you can be really loving and nurturing at this time. The path is yours to choose, but why beat yourself up when you can really just take the time to actually love on you and nurture you and say, yes, I know I did this here. That's why the inner child was there, because now is the time to really address all the all the brokenness, all the wounds, all the hurt while you're sitting in your emotions. Yes, you could have made a better decision. No, you could have did this. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Whatever it is, um, current energy for our Pisces. Let's get to it. So we have five of cups in reverse. We have the nine of cups in reverse. We have the hangman in reverse. Now, if I can be honest with you, a wholeheartedly, completely honest, you are at this stage. You're at this stage in your life to where you're tired of crying over spilled milk. You're tired of being overly emotional, missing opportunities, being stuck, feeling guilty, um, loving people who don't love you back. You're you're in this energy of just being tired, and that's why the Nine of Cups is here. Now, if you can see this Nine of Cups, this person is actually emerged in all of her emotions, and this is what I mean. Like you guys are in this energy of transmuting every negative thought, every doubt, every painful 
stable energy, every lingering, stagnant ass energy. It's like you guys are in this energy of finding joy and peace. And this is beautiful. Like, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, it does come with the hangman because I feel like spirit might have sit you down or is about to sit you down with this hangman until you can go in. This is the energy that you will be going into. Until you can go in and actually shift and change your perspective. Until you can go in and learn how to introspect. Until you can go in and, and, and like I said, and really not get into your inner, get into sitting in your emotions and actually feeling sorry, feeling bad, feeling down, playing victim, or what so have you. It, 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 this is more so about acceptance. This is what this is more so about acceptance. And the with the hangman here, this is more so about your in your judgment energy to where you can go ahead and look out his how it has all affected you and how you're going to move forward. Or you can sit here and try to make excuses, or you can sit here and point the finger, you can sit here and blame, or you can just sit here and accept the situation for what it is and make the best of it and move on. And guess what? This is the hangman as well. These cards, baby talk to them talk to them because they need to talk to them. and then we have the ace of wands here the ace of wands here at the bottom of the deck with the page of swords the moon mm. i don't know if you guys recently cut ties with someone cut ties because you have the moon you have the ten of swords the lovers or this could just be you really really standing in your truth and really cutting off a lot of things that made you feel betrayed that made you feel um that might have been draining you of your energy that made you feel like you were going against your better judgment and what it is you wanted pisces this is beautiful energy actually it's it's amazing it's quite beautiful it's beautiful for me okay look at you thinking about your it's like you are thinking logical about a situation but it's not you not going against your intuition this is you thinking logical about the situation and really looking at everything that has happened and really analyzing everything that's happened. And now you're in this energy of, okay, now it's time for me to choose a path. Now it's time for me to make a decision. Now it's time for me to cut this off. Now it's time for me to go here. Now it's time for me to attract this. Now it's time for me to go re manifest this, place my intention here. This is the energy that you'll be going into or that you're in. You're in this real look. Look at this real protective energy. You're in this real protective energy of I'm not allowing I'm not allowing outside sources to influence me. I'm going to go off my better judgment, what I want, how I feel, so on and so forth. Eight of Swords. I'm not going to allow people to come in and put their own projections on me and try to confuse me. I'm not going to allow people to to give me their advice on what they think I should do, quote unquote, for my situation because it's me and I know what I know what's best for me and I know that my intuition is going to lead me. I know that the divine is going to connect me. I know that I am group. I'm grounded and I am I'm safe so I know that anything that's going to come into my space is not going to disrupt that because I have healthy boundaries set in place to where it will not disrupt my flow of life it will not cause confusion it will only bring victory and success and that's the energy that you in and it's beautiful and I got the goosebumps so whoever I'm talking to kudos to fucking you okay can I be a Pisces because I love this I love this for y'all period okay I don't want to be a Pisces but you know but you know what I mean okay Let's look and see what your main blockage is. What's the main blockage for our Pisces? I'm about, to, I'm about to go. Judgments. I called this. I called this. You're having a hard time with, with forgiveness. And this and this card right here, this card right here, look, these cards be set to for y'all, okay? The, it gives the message. Who am I ready to forgive? Okay, I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. It is time to let go, forgive, and move onward. Is your soul ready to forgive someone? or yourself forgiveness brings sweet release freedom and insight look at it from their shoes notice how you grew okay this has been a reoccurring card let's be clear the whole open on no poem okay but um, look at look at it from their shoes how you grew and what you learned who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants now who is it who am i ready to forgive do you need to forgive yourself okay what are, what cycles are you repeating what re, what recurring pattern cycles are you currently repeating okay what have you what what is the cycle hello 
What is the cycle that you have not been able to break free from? That's why judgment card is here in reverse because there's a lesson that needs to be learned that you haven't. Let's, let me pull best advice right here real quick. No, look. If y'all watch, watch these other videos, no, I did not do this for everybody. Okay, three of air. The best advice here, great sadness, take time to heal, the need to forgive yourself or others. Queen of water, you have to three, the queen have to clean the cups three times. So your current energy needs to be a very loving and peaceful energy. It doesn't need to be full of like anger and frustrated frustration, even though sometimes you may be angry and you may be frustrated because you're not really getting your point across or people are constantly misunderstanding you. People are constantly walking all over you, but this is because you're giving too much of your energy away. You're putting too much of your precious energy out there and people take advantage of it and, and now it's time for you with that seven of wands to be very defensive of you and your energy your mission okay now queen of cups at the bottom of the dash the nine of cups yes this is you going in a new direction um even though you don't know the direction you're going in because i do see the moon but that's neither here nor there this judgment card the best advice here for this judgment is to break free from whatever is whatever is weighing heavy on your heart mentally however it is you're thinking about it and that's why the hangman is here because spirit is like did this really break you are you gonna really give up um are you gonna really give up do you really feel like you deserve that are you really gonna settle like that's what that's why the hangman energy here to the judgment card because it's like in your current energy you're suffering you're battling um what transmuted energy and is in is really having a hard time with choosing what makes you happy because you're constantly repeating a cycle it can be a cycle pattern behavior it can be something that's attached to you a person place or a thing so take it how it resonate okay but let's keep it kicking because so i don't want y'all here for 30 minutes what action should you be taking second half of september what action should you be taking the four of wands and this is about your security the justice card by by time legal season get here look Okay, so give me one more. Let's be clear. Spirit is going to give you the opportunity to wrap up the cycle properly. Hold on. And then we have the death card. Yes, Lord. Hello. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, this four of wands is because now is the time to look at the foundation of things. And now is the time to really look at the foundation of you, where you are, where's your inconsistencies, where are your fears, where where do you where you, where could you um really set more boundaries, so on and so forth. And this could also be taking place in your relationships with that four of wands. In, in, in the four of wands, who or what is draining you of your energy? Um, who are you attached to? What negative attachments do you have? Are you obsessed? Are you overthinking? Are you overworking? Are you overgiving? All this is that time to look at that. And that's why the four, the four of swords is there. I mean, the four of wands is there to the justice card because spirit wants you to stand firm and tall in these, in these areas in which you will be um, put forced or put in to, to really go in and to reevaluate some things to really assess. And that's why the world is there because I'm going to give you the second chance, the second opportunity to go in and close some type of cycle, to wrap something up, to learn the lesson, to say no, to, to express, to do whatever it is you need to do so you can finally put it into it so you can actually move and so you can actually move on and call in new energy the bottom of the deck look the three of wands is here because maybe you thought something didn't go as planned or it didn't go your way so spirit is going to actually give you the second chance to actually do something right you have the opportunity to do it here now but when you go back in you're not going back in in a bitter ass energy you're going back in being very loving nurturing compassionate and listening understanding you're going back in to give love and and, and even if it goes against something that you something that you wanted so dearly and so badly you still have to send gratitude and appreciation for the situation the circumstance okay and that's why the, the queen of cups is there look with the lovers something may still end up bittersweet but just understand that this is all working for you and your highest good and that's what the card says here it says patience is required at the moment you may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like yet there is a lot going on energetically the current situation causing concern is evolving positively let go and have patience this is basically saying don't be bitter sweet don't be bitter or have a, a, a bitter taste in your mouth about the situation just accept the situation for what it is and let bygones be bygones let bygones be bygones period okay um what does spirit want you to know 
what does spirit want you to know? Well, the three of clubs in reverse. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. Obviously, something happened. Obviously, something happened. Obviously, something happened. Obviously, something happened. It was causing a lot of heartache, not no happiness, arguing up and down. There was no teamwork. Everything was one-sided. It was codependent. It was stagnant. We didn't know how to communicate. It caused a lot of inner conflict, which out, which came out on the outside. A shit show. The Nine of Pentacles is here. It challenged you, your freedom, what you wanted, how you saw yourself. And spirit was like, enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. And now spirit is basically telling you, you've been in this cycle so long. Now it's time for you to slowly but surely take yourself out of this. It's going to take some time to heal, but you got this. Okay. That is what spirit wants you to know. Like whatever it is that's been, that's been really, really hammering you. Cause it has been with that five of wands. This was best advice. Come together. I don't think I want it. I'm going to take it though. Um, Let's see. So number eight. No. I'm sorry, y'all. If it comes back out, it comes back out. But <laughs> I don't want it. Spirits. Best advice for our Pisces second half of September, please. And thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. My neighbor's in the background. They must have just got home or something because, baby, they was quiet. Best advice for our Pisces, please. Second half of September. Rest of September. Current energy. Best advice for our Pisces. Really? It's like I gave you the message, damn it. Thank you. So we have a number nine. So we went from the eight to the nine. Okay. Listen. So number nine. Number nine. This too shall pass. An uncomfortable storm fields. An uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things that have been left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Pent up energy needs release, just as a storm in the nature must break for the events occur when the electricity between opposing forces stirs up and creates temporary disorder. Not all storms are destructive. Rather, they may serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and the wind to the trees, enabling seeds to be spread, distributed, and continuously grow to be ensured. Just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside you or between you and another, you will benefit, I mean, will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to shake things up a bit. Now, if you're having problems between you and a loved one, right now you guys are at odds. Right now is not the time to go in and try to... Don't be making no permanent decisions off of temporary emotions. Take your time. If it's too much, no one to, no one to call it quits. Okay? No one not to give the energy. No one not to argue. Now is not the time to engage in the activity that brings unwanted chaos or drama into your life. This is the negative card. The kind, this kind of storm can be destructive and you'll regret your actions later. You get what I'm saying? Hateful words will be carried on the wind and bring a tornado of betrayal, anger, and unnecessary ang angst. Hmm. Find shelter. This turbulent weather will pass and your house will be untouched. Say no to drama. Wait till the storm blows over. Only then will you be heard. Now listen, now is not the time for reacting. Now is the time to surrender to your own feelings and emotions because you're being triggered right now, and that is the main problem. That's the main cause. Once you be able to be tricked, once you can change your perspective and try to see something from someone else's point of view and try to come to some type of common ground, then you'll be able to move forward. Right now, when you're mad, when you're upset, you're about to say some shit that you don't mean that you can't come back from. So watch your tongue. And I'm gonna leave you guys there. Bye, loves.